and we are here to serve you. Hi there everyone and welcome to The Word with Sue. This is Suzanne Thompson, your host, and today I have with me my sister, Suzette. She is my twin sister and she has joined me on The Well. Yeah, she is my co-founder, Suzette Blunt. Did I say Suzette Thompson? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what was in my head. <laughs> I'm Suzanne Thompson, she's Suzette Blunt. Yes, and yes. William Williams. Yeah. <laughs> just so happy to come to you today in this special edition of The Word with Sue. Today we just want to bring an encouraging word to those who are facing breast cancer. As you know that this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and we just want to honor those who are going through this, facing difficulty. Maybe you know someone who is currently experiencing this kind of illness and there are so many questions to cross our mind when we're going through such a terrible situation yeah. but we we know that with Christ in the vessel we yes. can smile at the storm and I'm so glad to have my sister with me today who's gonna help me to share this word with you and I'm hoping that through this word today that you will find encouragement yes. uh, also before we get into the word we just want to show you our guest our breast cancer outfit oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> breast cancer gear mm -hmm. and um, if you can see on our shirts has written quite a few positive words that we're hoping will help to cheer someone up. Yes, mine says hope. Yes, and mine says strength, hope, faith. And we know that these three ingredients are important to have when you're yes. facing any kind of difficulty. Mm -hmm. And we know that with Christ, we need, He gives us the strength, I should say. Yes. He okay. gives us the strength, He gives us hope, and He gives us the faith that we need to carry on, to pull through every mm. situation. And these outfits are courtesy of JC Penny. Yes, and they were not expensive at all. <laughs> and we just want to point out also we're wearing these paracord jewelry from my friend who made these, they're custom made, Camille Faulkner. Well, actually, her name is Camille Schuler. She's formerly known as Camille Faulkner, and these are just lovely breast cancer bands, yeah. which we thought we would rock today. <laughs> uh, we just we just want to encourage our breast cancer survivors as well, those yeah. who are, and those who are going through it. Right, uh, I know that this is a disease that has taken so many yes. of our loved ones, but we're still in the fight, and it affects almost all of us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know we're in the fight, and we're gonna we're gonna press just like Paul said. Mm -hmm. You know, that we're going to press toward, toward, the, toward the mark because we know that our hope is not just in this life, but it's mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Amen. So uh, with that, I just want to share a scripture with you today coming from Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 31. Well, let me start at 30. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. And you may be familiar with the story of Rahab in Joshua when, uh, when you know, they were, the people of Israel went around the walls of Jericho. Before that, the spies went into her house to make sure, to spy, they actually went into Jericho to spy out the land. And the that the woman was there to let the spies in and yes. she kept them safe you know during that during that time period and it was a sacrifice that she made at that she time mm -hmm. to actually entertain the spies yeah. and because of what she did she actually saved her household mm -hmm. but b with all of that said i just look at rahab as this woman who was known as a prostitute yeah she did not have the Imagine best that. reputation mm -hmm. and yet um god she is recorded in the word as a woman of faith. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Maybe you're, you have this illness and you think, well, who am I, you know, yeah. and maybe I've done this or I've done that. Or you might be thinking it's over for me. Yeah. When it's not. It's not. You might be saying, well, is it, is this, is, is this it Lord? Yeah. When we know it's not because 
Christ promised mm -hmm. for you to have eternal life. Exactly. Right? And not just eternal life in heaven. He wants to give you abundant life, a prosperous life even here. Yes, exactly. On earth. Exactly. Yeah. The thing with Rahab, it's about she started to believe. Yeah. She believed there was hope for her. Mm -hmm. And because of her belief and her hope and her faith, uh -huh. it allowed her to save a whole generation. Oh my God. No. Okay. Uh -huh. You're you may be having facing this terrible illness, mm -hmm. this cancer. Yeah. And it feels like it's over but if you just believe in the God that you serve oh. you just know that he can take you through and he's the one who's in control of your life yes he he's is. the one that can turn the story around for yes, your good is. to give him the glory and you know some of you might be out there saying well what did I do for this sickness to come upon me well you know what you didn't have to do anything we were all born in sin and shaped yes. in iniquity as the scripture says and you know what because Adam and Eve sin this is why we have all these these sicknesses and diseases that have come up on the land yes and so it's, it's out of our control sometimes when these things come upon us but we always have to remember what the Word of God says about us yeah okay yeah. what does the scripture say it says seek ye first the kingdom of God and all, all his righteousness, righteousness and these things shall be added unto you yeah. you know a healing can be added unto you exactly because God God wants you to put him first right he sometimes allows these things to happen to us mm. so that we'll draw closer to him. to him look at Rahab she was a prostitute yeah. okay I also heard something about that is yeah that she, but the scripture said she received the spies with peace and when you think of a spy it brings fear oh my goodness when you think about cancer it brings fear and what casts out fear love perfect love and who has perfect love jesus God. so when you come into this perfect love mm -hmm. you don't need to fear this disease you don't exactly. need to fear what it's going to do to you because he says i know the thoughts that i think toward you thoughts of good and not of evil he has plans so for you for your expected mm -hmm. end right exactly. he has an expected end for you exactly. and the scripture also says all things work together, together for the good of them that love the God Lord. and are called, called according to his purpose. purpose. Exactly. Rahab had a purpose. Oh my goodness. And yet she was an ill repute. Just exactly. like the woman at the well, it's, right? Oh my gosh. An ill repute, someone who did not have a, a good reputation. Maybe you don't have a good reputation. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but God is still calling you today. Doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you did in the past. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> he, he chose Rahab for those spies to come in. He chose you mm -hmm. maybe to, to experience this this whatever it is this mm -hmm. disease because you're strong second, because you're strong yeah and he knew you could persevere he you're knew, gonna persevere yeah yes. what would happen because mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. he knew the result of what you're going through exactly and so we believe that god is bringing peace to your mind he is through the word of god even now he is to receive his destiny hallelujah his so plan allow his word just to penetrate into your heart today Mm -hmm. Allow his word just to, to transform your mind because yeah. it does start with the renewing of the mind. Yes, okay, yes. the enemy cannot get to you when you have that strong faith in God, a strong mindset that I'm going to just press. I'm mm -hmm. going to press. I'm going to press. And the word of God in Joshua 1 verse 9 says, Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Mm -hmm. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go yeah. that means that no matter what the situation is mm. the lord is with you the scripture says in the song right even if i make my bed in hell yeah, he's he is there, there. Yes, okay yes. even if the world you feel like the world is coming to an end listen even if the world comes to an end who's gonna be there Jesus. Exactly. He's gonna be there God for is going to be there for you. Yes. He is here for yes. you. He's a present help in the time of trouble. In the time of trouble. He's your hope. He's your, he's your strength. strength. He is your faith. Yes. Okay. Have faith in him. Yeah. Know that he can see you through. Hallelujah. And then by no means we're saying it's easy. Oh my goodness. But we the know only thing you have nothing to lose but trusting God. Exactly. Nothing else to, but your your own pride and your own self mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to lose in him. So we want to encourage you, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you've done, mm. that God is able to see you through. through. And we want to pray with you here at the well today yeah. so that you'll find strength in the word of God, peace mm. and encouragement that will keep you through this journey. Father, we thank you, God, for your servants who are watching us today, God. Lord, at this time, I pray, God, that you keep covering your blood covering, just like you covered the children of Israel, Lord God, so that the death angel could pass over them, Lord. Lord, so when you see the blood, God, it will pass over your children, Lord God. They will be victorious in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for your blessings right now. We thank you, God, for your pouring out your peace 
upon your yes, children right now. Jesus, and we're praying Father, all of this in your name, Jesus, our high priest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Be encouraged today. Amen. He's taking your prayers before the Lord, and they're, they're already on Lord, Amen. Amen. God bless. To your throne, to bow down at your feet. Jesus, you are.